here at 112 Tucker with Brandon Hightower. I'm not going to tell his alias, but uh, he's into the flip, fix and flip game now. You're yep. usually in buy and hold, right? Yeah, buy and to hold and rent, but we decided to uh, fix and flip this one. And we put quite a bit of work into it. So Cool. Well, I'll show you. Uh, we've known friends that have lived on this road. It's really a nice street central and oak ridge here's a kind of look at the front of the house there's the rock star agent who's got it yes. oh, hey. you saw her phone number let's zoom in on that boom buyer flipper realtor extraordinaire roof looks good tell me about all the things you guys have done on this place well first and foremost like you said we got the new roof we did a all new electrical uh new windows everywhere um will be all new plumbing um trying to think we put all new appliances in it um since it's a kind of a, a split unit kind of like a duplex or a mother-in-law suite we did a new mini split downstairs so the you know central heat and air split so the people upstairs and downstairs can have it two different yeah let's go um, check it out though show me what you got all right let's see here. nice entryway yeah uh, out the gate here we got a little bit of storage here uh, Darian the yeah I saw the design on Facebook this looks great in person I love the color yeah she she envisioned it and I wasn't sure how it was gonna turn out but I think it, it looks pretty amazing I like the light fixture she chose Wow too. yeah uh, it looks pretty good um, we went with like the three panel doors most in most of the entire house I like the way the three panel doors look in comparison to some of the other ones you know now is this a B house I mean, what ladder house is this? B. Yeah, it is a B. looks like a B. So this is where the furnace used to be back in the day, mm -hmm. I believe. Yep, and then we got a stackable washer and dryer in there. Believe it or not, when I bought this house, uh, the countertop was already in it, so we kept the countertop. Nice. Um, um, and I don't know if you're familiar with the last name Riddle. Riddle. Mm -hmm. Riddle Pharmacy. Mm -mm. In Clinton, and they have a building in Oak Ridge that they no longer use. They're the ones that originally owned this house, was the Riddles. Um, so nice. It, it, it's, it's pretty nice. We kept the countertop and with the brown, like I said, all new uh, appliances, built a little. That's such a bold choice with the color, but it works really well. Yeah. Um, was that your choice or Darian's? That was her choice. <laughs> yeah. As far as the design aspect goes, pretty much let her take the, the lead on everything. Um, and we kind of custom built this because we felt like there just simply wasn't enough storage space yeah. for the kitchen. It is a little bit limited, but we, you know, made the most of what we could here. I like this feature. That's, that's really ingenious. I like that. It's cute. I like it. It, 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 it does well. And then, you know, underneath all the LVP, there is original hardwood floor, but I know we probably should have refinished the hardwood floor and went that route, but my original plan for this house was not to sell it. Right. So I thought, okay, well, if I rent it, the renters are going to tear up the hardwood floor anyways. Mm -hmm. I got a good deal on a bunch of LVP and it already got laid down. Um, well, I know from your days at Big Ed's, we hammered in detail. I can tell that you guys had have a strong attention to detail in here. Yeah. Uh, you got crispy paint lines, uh, windows look good. Uh, the flooring is laid well. A lot of times when you have LVP, people do a, yeah. kind of a crappy job and this looks, this looks sharp. I've only done LVP a few times, but the few times that I've done it, or the first couple times I do it and I pull it all back up because I've realized I don't like it. I'd see a little bit of spacing. I'd be like, uh, it's gonna cause a problem in the future. So after pulling it up and redoing the last couple ones I did, I'm like, we, we got it, we got it nailed down. Yeah, I love this. This is, you guys have really cool, and I'm not just blowing smoke. This is different from the way I, I do things and it's really sharp and I really like, this 45 here is yeah. a really cool feature. It looks nice. I like it a lot. Modern, sure. but then you have the older fireplace. Is this fire paint here? Is this set up to be used as a, a wood burning or just kind of well, aesthetics? Again, I was assuming I was going to rent it and hold it for yeah. a long time, so we went ahead and closed it off. No, no problem. No chimney anymore. If I knew I was going to sell it at the beginning, we probably would have kept it, but plans change sometimes. Yeah. Um, one of my favorite parts of the house, though, is probably just this bathroom. I feel like it's simple, but her choice of the, the vanity and the tile, I, for some odd reason, I just love it, man. Yeah. It's got an earthy feel, but also modern with the black finishes and everything. And then you've got the floating vanity, which is, you know, 
easier to clean <laughs> you know keep your floors nice and clean and you got a lot of workspace i like the offset here yeah i feel like the color of the vanity kind of pulls a little bit of the brown out of the tile too yeah i think, I think it looks nice it, it turned out very well um what's crazy to think about this bedroom when i bought the house there was a huge hole in the floor whoa like half the closet out to here and there was a spiral staircase going down <laughs> that's Downstairs. sketchy super sketchy <laughs> yeah so I had to make the choice of like, okay, do we move the staircase? And we spent days doing our configuration, seeing can we put the staircase in the living room, where can we put the staircase? And we realized that anywhere we put the staircase upstairs, we were just digging into the space. Yeah. And that's why I decided there's not enough space upstairs. Let's close it off and make it a duplex. Yeah, I love that idea. Now, did you get the meters separated or is it just kind of keeping well, it as one? Again, plans changed a couple weeks Yeah, ago. yeah. But the original plan was uh, I was just going to do utilities included into both rents. That way I didn't have to have a split meter or anything of that nature. Smart. I was just going to say utilities included. It's this much for upstairs, this much for downstairs to keep it rolling. That's smart. And we do, uh, we add, you know, lawn care to stuff like that all yeah. the time. So yeah. it's a similar idea. Yeah. And people love it if they don't have to worry about keeping up with multiple bills. Yeah, yeah. And then we know they both have uh, pretty decent sized closets. Nothing too fancy, but at least, I know this, the bedrooms aren't massive, but at least they both have a full-size closet in there. Well, when these houses were built, the Army Corps of Engineers did a good job laying them out to where they are sufficient for yeah. somebody to have a nice size bed in here. And you've got the space, spaces for the nightstands and everything. Yeah, yeah, yeah. We, we added some receptacles and stuff, which ended up being a little bit more of a pain than I assumed on these exterior walls because they were framed so thin mm -hmm. that when we were trying to drop the wires, oh my God, dude, <laughs> It's fun it stuff. Small, dude. So yeah, I feel like uh, I was pretty happy with upstairs. Uh, we got some all, storage here as well. Yeah, we ended up adding that as well because there was nothing there. Um, nice. I'm just trying to, because you know, the bathroom doesn't really have a closet at the mm -hmm. time. Some this is one of the my favorite bees I've seen in a really long time. This is, this is very nice. Nothing too fancy. Um, the one thing that I hadn't gotten around to doing, which I probably won't do, obviously, is I did want to screen this in. But I figured the prospective buyer can screen it in if they want, or they maybe could replace these panes and have like a little flower oh, playroom yeah. or something. What's that new saying? Um, Pets are the new kids, or uh, yeah, pets are the new kids, and plants are the new pets. Is that right? I've heard that. Yeah, yeah. I, mean, I feel like it'd be perfect to have some plants in here with children. The only thing that I did notice is in the middle of the summer, it gets a little, gets a little steamy in there. Right. No, that's a great space. Yeah, it's a great space. And I'm kind of getting a sneak peek of the yard back there. You got two magnolias and nice flat yard, and that's kind of unheard of here in East Tennessee. Mm -hmm. So. You see the little table back there? I haven't. It's hard to oh see. yeah, back it's through got there. A concrete table. It's cute, man. I like it. Um, oh, and you got these little shelves here too. Oh yeah. Nice. Yeah, we're to make the most of it right there. So, what does the entrance look like to the downstairs? I'll show you. We'll go this way. It'll show you the path. They said they didn't want to be on the videos, but these people have been working hard on <laughs> yes, this, so they got to get a little love. I love this backyard, man. There's just something about it. That's not saying when wow. you see the table. It's, yeah. just, it's just cute. I like it. It looks good. And you're, you know, we're Big Ed's is right over there. Yep. Turnpike's over over that way, and you feel like you're secluded. Yeah, you know, you got your true. own little it's definitely close secret to garden. Because you know, I grew up a couple houses down. And I used to walk to Big Ed's every day to work. Yeah. So it's it's, it's just a couple minutes away. Oh, I love it. Well, I'll turn around and get a look at the sunroom. Yeah, and there's a sunroom. We've got a nice flower bed here. There's another one on that side of the house. Um, I just mulched them both. Um, yeah, it's, it's a cute yard for what it is, man. And then over here is the entrance to the uh, mother-in-law suite or just whatever you want to call it. Mm -hmm. Like I said, we did a, a mini split down here to keep things separate. Nice. And uh, this is another one of those we tried to just make as what we could do with, with the space, you know, because it's not huge. Yeah. But we were hoping to bet up against the accent wall. Right. And then TV behind you. And then we kind of got the entertainment set up here. Yeah. 
and um, I was worried about storage space down here. Yeah. So that's why I went ahead and spent the extra money and did a bunch of built-ins. Now, are these cabinets that you used, and then you just framed out the side of it? Wow, yes, I like that. And then this is an e-wall. That's part of your foundation yeah, helping that, support it. So yeah, that's, part of the foundation. Ah, that's a good solution for that problem. Yeah. And then you have a little um, little nook here for keys or knickknacks and other things and stuff like that. Now this, I mean, you guys must have uh, searched high and low for stuff like this because this isn't Home Depot. No. This, no, this, this is, is I'm, you don't see this at Lowe's or Home Depot. No, this one, you know, cost a little bit, but again, the original plan was to rent it and I wanted to make sure that whoever rented this downstairs space had what they needed. Mm -hmm. I wanted to make sure they had, if they wanted to cook, they could go microwave down here. If they wanted a little more counter space, we made sure to have the, to fill in the sink so they could have that extra counter space. Um, we got the little slim fridge. It fits very well though. It's a good size. Now what's around this corner? Is this a closet? Yeah, that's kind of going to be their, their closet space. Not too many uh, studios have a walk-in closet. Yeah, it's not massive, but we made most of them. This is cool. This might be the template for like a basement space like this. Because every time I come into something like this, I kind of scratch my head. I'm like, yeah. I don't want to spend the time figuring out what it is. I was very worried that when she designed it and she pitched the ideas, I was very worried that it was going to kind of be worth it mm -hmm. doing it downstairs and then towards the end of it when I walked in and we started seeing it all come together I thought wow it looks nice down yeah there. well the older like boomers get and just in general um, having multi-generational uh, housing is a really uh, advantageous and desirable thing for people so for sure. um, let's say a college student wants to have their own space they can come live downstairs and the older parents can be upstairs parent law maybe Wow, look at this. We've got a uh, full nice uh, bathroom down here. Nice mm -hmm. shower, separate, you know, washer and dryer. Yeah. Um, now this is a huge shower. What is this, four and a half wide or? Uh, I'm trying to remember the measurement. It is It is. It is pretty large. Um, at first when I bought the house, man, they had these huge stone shower. It was the hardest part of my demo. So they did have a bathroom down here before? Uh-huh, yeah. It was a, uh, it was, it was a problem, and so is this, this, uh, this um, shaped tile. I didn't realize how, uh, how, how tricky it is. It is. Yeah, it's very, very tricky. Um, but we figured it out. You know, we got it done. Well, I'm glad you went with a lighter color down here. Um, I live upstairs, but down here it might have felt a little bit dark and made the room feel a little bit smaller. Yeah, especially considering down here we don't really have any windows except through the door. And is this utilities? Because I was wondering where all your hot water heater and all yeah, that stuff Yeah, this is look. where hot water heater's at. And, um, um, you know, I, I went ahead and as we demoed it, I went ahead and waterproofed down here just in case with a foundation Smart. company. Put a new uh, sump pump with a lifetime warranty on it um, just in case of any moisture issues, which there shouldn't be any. But, nice. You know, just in case. That's important because people do a whole flip and that's the last thing they think about and then it ends up getting them well i've heard enough people talk about basements in east tennessee that moisture is uh, inevitable mm -hmm. uh, in some cases so you best prepare for it right well cool is there anything else you wanted to show me in this beautiful i mean I'm, like i said i'm not flip i'm not uh so i'm not just talking but um I'm not just blowing smoke, like for real. I know you're my homie, but I went to a flip the other day that just bothered me. Yeah. <laughs> it was so sloppy. Yeah. Uh, I look, you know, you did a good job. Yeah, I appreciate it. You should be proud of yourself. I think I it's a good, it. you're bringing something quality to the market and setting the standard. So nice. um, if there's anything else, uh, I appreciate your time. Likewise, uh, I appreciate you, sir. I hope you all enjoy this. Um, Brandon is looking for more properties. If you know any, he this is the kind of work he does. Yep. He has uh, renters or people who are buying it in mind when he's doing his renovations. So that's a huge thing. Um, and I try to encourage that for everybody. So appreciate y'all's time. I know this is one of the longer videos we've done, but uh, yeah, it's cool to catch up with a friend too. Nice to meet you guys. See ya.